more Atlanta Falcons news. Now, now that the Falcons season is officially finished, we can focus on free agency, and we have a good amount of players that are going to be on, you know, like going to be free agents when it comes to our team. I believe we have at least 26 players that are going to be on expiring contracts. In fact, Caleb Gary, Rashawn Evans, Jermaine Fetty, uh, Eric Harris, Elijah Wilkinson, Oliver, Bird, Johnson, Zacchaeus, Pruitt, Fenton, Kwiatkowski, Ferkser, Penny, and Smith, Hodge, Idoja, Hesse, Ford, Gassett, Anderson, Armstrong, Taylor, Brinkley, Dickerson, and McCullough. Those are the names of the free agents that we're going to be having when it comes to the rest of this season. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying we have 26 free that so we had 26 players that are going to be free agents. We have 56 million in cap space. Now this is before what I think the Falcons will do. I think the Falcons will cut Marcus Mariota to save money on the cap. That will bring us to about 63 million or 65 million. And then I think the Falcons are going to cut Casey Hayward because Casey Hayward got injured during the second. Like, he got injured during the middle part of the season. I'm going to be honest, besides that pick during the opening season, Casey Hayward hasn't really done anything. So I think to save money also, considering that this is going to be the first time the Falcons have had cap space since trading um, Matt Ryan. I mean, this is the second season after trading Matt Ryan, so this would be the season where we have the cap space. I think after this, we would have at least $73 million total in cap space after those two cuts. And there could be a lot more contract restructuring because Grady Jarrett, Chris Lindstrom is coming up next year and Chris Lindstrom is definite after this season, Chris Lindstrom should get his contract. Chris Lindstrom deserves his money. But looking at the free agents that we have and the players that I've decided not to go with, I wrote a yes to signing and I wrote down how many years we should extend them. And I have 11 players out of the 26 being signed out of our free agents are going out of our players are going to be free agents for the season and the other 15 will not be signed and i think that after all these signings we should have at least 50 million or more in in total cap space i think that we should give Rashawn Evans a 2 year contract Isaiah Oliver a 2 year contract because I, Isaiah Oliver did show some promise after having an injury plague season last season Demir Bird, we should, we should give at least a year. We need depth at the receiver position. We can go in the draft and get a receiver position too, but we're still going to need that. But we're going to get that, and we're going to get a one-year deal with Demir Bird. Zacchaeus, I feel like Zacchaeus, he's 26. He looked good when Marcus Murillo was playing, and he did look good towards the end of the season. I would give Zacchaeus a two- to three-year deal just so we can have him until he's at least 29. Then, when he's 29, 30, he's about that age where, you know, like, wide receiver should be, you know, like, getting, like, kind of, like, is he going to be a number one? Is he not? But, yeah, we're not going to go with that. Michael Pruitt, a one-year deal. Rashawn Fenton, a two-year deal. Edoja, a two-year deal, just because he's the 26th and we need an offensive lineman. Parker Hesse, I think we should give a one-year deal. Gusset, a right guard, we should give a one-year deal. Anderson, a DT, we should give a one-year deal. And Dickerson, uh, a DT as well. I think we should give him a one-year deal. And in terms of look, in terms of looking at that, I mostly went with these decisions because we need depth. And I feel like these options, the way they played, they'd be very cheap contracts. And then we still have money in free agency, and we still have money. We still have money in um. To go get in free agency and then we still have money, you know, like in general to extend contracts. Because Chris Lindstrom is going to get a contract extension. I think after that, AJ Terrell is going to be up for a contract extension. You know AJ Terrell is going to want to get his money because he's he's possibly, or he played last season like one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. I, feel, I still think he can be one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. But I mean, in terms of looking at the future of the Falcons, I think... In terms of the free agents that we're going to have, 11 will be signed, 15 won't be signed, and we're going to have a decent amount of money in cash space. I think we have the second most in terms of the NFL after the Chicago Bears, so I expect the Falcons to spend some good money on some good signings, and I'm excited.
for the 2023-2024 season.